Hi guys! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we are so happy to take you on a tour around our dream house that took five months to build in paradise of Puswanga, Palawan, Philippines. I am beyond of exciting to share this journey with all of you. And I know you're gonna love to see the transformation from an empty plot to a stunning house in paradise. In this video, I'll be taking you through the entire five months construction process, sharing all the ups and downs and then take you uh, on a tour around the house. We've been dreaming of building our house for years now. And finally living in is just incredible. The feeling is so nice. It's been an amazing journey and I'm so grateful to have you all along for the ride. Over the next few minutes, you'll get to see all the stage of the construction process. From the foundation to the almost final finishes. I'll be sharing my favorite part of the building. Some challenges we faced and what it's like to live in your dream home. We've put our heart and soul to build this home. And I know you're going to love it. So let's start it. The first challenge we faced was to put a realistic budget to the house. To be completely honest, we exploded the budget. And our initial budget was not realistic. At we are building on a slope. So it makes everything more complicated and more expensive. The hard part of the construction was that the plan was in our head and not on the paper. So during the construction process, there were a lot of adjustments. But to be honest, I love the result. And I'm so happy we made it good design that fits to us for our home something that fits to the surrounding and something that fits to our perfect style we are living in the philippines so most of the time it's warm the only bad weather we face is when a big storm or typhoons coming uh, with strong wind so actually we are not ready for this yet but in the process because i wanted the house all open that's breathing a lot um, with a lot of trees and um, nature around plants this is also under process the garden we have a lot to do but in a good way we close the room make a lot of windows so when it's good weather when it's not raining we can just open the window and the house is really breathing but downstairs is all open. There's no wall. So the idea there is to put tarpaulins and um, bamboo curtains to protect in case of strong wind and rain. Someone wants to be in the video again. We also had to decide what materials we want to use. From the beginning, I wanted all native. So uh, wood, nipa, tawali, but this is our home. This is our house. And we also wanted it to last. So we made compromise. We are so lucky that my husband, um, father, papa is a carpenter, mason. So actually that was not so hard to find uh, the right person. Even before to find the land and to have the idea of what house we want to do, we already knew who was going to be the one to build the house. Uh, but uh, it took so while to find uh, the best team to work together. I'm so glad that we find a team that shared our vision and was truly committed on delivering a high quality work. To be honest, the early days 
of building were very tough. From the beginning, we saw that we won't fit to the better. That was actually so stressful. The question is that, are we going to be able to finish this house? And actually, we cannot even answer this question yet because it's not totally finished. <laughs> Of course, we have faced um, delay in material delivery, but as the weeks went by, we started to see progress. The foundation was laid, the frame went up, and the roof was installed. The good point of our in our construction is that we started to build during dry season, so when rainy season came, uh, we already had the roof it was amazing to see our design come to life and that's the time you're getting so excited to move in and it's like waiting for the house to be livable was really hard of course the hard part of the building is to see the su unexpected surprise come along the way we had to navigate through a tricky design decisions and of course, there were some time that we doubt of our choice. But when I see the result today, I'm quite amazed and quite happy. It really was worth it at the end. Seeing our dream home take shape was an incredible feeling. Month by month, we watched our home transformed from a vacant plot to a beautiful functional space. Each stage of the building brought its own challenges, but we've learned uh, to adapt and overcome them. As the months went by, we started to see the finishing touches come together. The door were installed, the floor were laid, and the kitchen was fitted. It was amazing to see how far we'd come. And we're so grateful to have made it through tough times. Of course, the exterior of the house is as important as the interior. But the objective here was really to finish as much as possible the interior um, in order to be able to move in. And now that we are in, I uh, really know what's needed to be done. So our plan is to finish first the inside and then we will focus on the garden, the outside, uh, to make it nice, plant flowers, trees. But now we are here and every day we can work on that. We are so glad and so grateful for that. Looking back, it's hard to believe how far we've come. From the early days of the building, it's been an amazing journey. It's still not finished, but slowly, step by step, day by day, we will continue. I think a house is never finished, actually. There's always something to do. When you're done to build the initial frame, the initial house, uh, with all the finishes, then you start to have a renovation. I'm okay to take this journey because now this is ours and it's such a nice feeling to have your own. So we basically just moved in. So it's quite new. Uh, we are still not used to our house. Uh, we're still not finished to tidy up all our stuff and we are still not finished to build the house. I still have a lot of furniture to build. But we start to make um, this house our home. Uh, last week we did the blessing of the house, which is a tradition here in the Philippines. And I really wanted to follow the tradition. And actually since we did the blessing, I feel I really feel better in the house. Like the first night, uh, I think we sleep two nights before uh, we did the blessing. But the first two nights were very weird, actually. And now we're starting to really feel home, making this house our home. And it's such an amazing feeling. It's a dream coming true, really. We've dreamed of this house. Uh, 
for quite a few years and we are so grateful so happy my goodness i cannot express my feeling right now i'm so happy the reaction from our friends and our family was amazing they couldn't believe the transformation and they were all so proud of us for achieving our dream as we are settling in our new home we are starting to realize how much it meant to us this is more than just a place to live it is a symbol of hard work and determination looking back at the entire experience i'm so glad for all the challenges we faced from choosing the land to clean the property to start the foundation to find the right team to find the supply for the materials and all the things we need which is uh, quite hard on the island believe me all those challenges made us strong and they made us appreciate even more the final result i really feel so lucky to be living here as we move forward i'm so excited to share more content about our home from decor inspiration to uh, DIY projects. So if you are interested in seeing more, give us a big thumb up. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, keep on facing the challenges and following your dream.